I'm gonna tell you how to develop this class material into this realistic look inside element 3d and also into this in, in white background and the black background if you are new to the channel please subscribe give us a thumbs up and comment your thoughts also check out my previous video how to create a, that ultra realistic look i have a full tutorial on that and also check out our website pdtalk.com i'm so excited let's begin i'm gonna start creating a new composition name it and I just the resolution and the frame rate and the duration hit ok now I'm going to import my element 3d plugin right click hit your copilot element 3d select scene setup ok now I'm going to import my 3d model scale it click on normal ice size now I'm going to add some basic materials blazing glass shader and black gloss for now i'm gonna hide this logo and i'm gonna add a flow and add matte shadow shade click ok now i'm gonna add a background and a camera to the background i'm gonna add a gradient ramp Now I'm gonna adjust my camera. I'm gonna do some tweaks on render settings like physical environment. And I'm gonna turn on ambient occlusion. Now I'm gonna develop the glass shader. To do that I'm again going to go to the scene setup. So click on click on the glass material go down to the settings into advanced you can see blend mode turn it into add, add. now you can see the see-through glass look so still we have to do more things click on drawback faces now I'm gonna add a material to the middle part okay now we have the glass shader but it is look like more burn and more exposed in the glass materials uh, first tip is to have more reflections so the glass will look more realistic inside element 3d so to do that i'm gonna again go to scene setup click on environment and try to increase the highlights of your hdri if you have other hdris you can try those also so for now i'm gonna keep it like here and hit ok and i'm gonna adjust refraction on my glass material reflection color to be black and distortion to be like 1.5 reflection like 15 and hit ok you can see the development this into this with those settings so i'm gonna lower the ambient occlusion a bit here's the next trick i'm gonna do i'm gonna duplicate the element 3d layer go into the scene setup click on your glass shader go back to the advance and put it into normal click ok and now i'm gonna do blending modes okay hard light is the blending mode i'm gonna use so i'm gonna down the opacity to like more than half okay and i'm gonna turn off the ambient occlusion i just the gamma and the exposure and also the environment settings on your original layer so you will have a better look try to play with these settings so you can have new things new look to your scenes 
and I'm gonna give the same settings to the duplicated one I'm gonna again go to the scene setup and add my logo okay go down to the settings on your logo because it contains an PNG file like I have given a PNG file it's a PNG so that means it has an alpha channel to remove the background I'm gonna increase alpha threshold right there and I'm going to give more reflection to the logo also so it will look more realistic okay it okay now here we have our realistic glass shader so so the same thing will be in the back background i'm gonna update uh, in the website the settings of how i used to develop this scene in the back, black background and here you have it so hope you enjoyed you can get this 3d modeling by going to 3dtalk.com and this go there and check that out also if you have any questions you can comment below hit the subscribe and see you guys next time Stop.